It's not unusual for Banff to be overrun at this time of year. This is the heart of the tourist season. But some visitors to the town could be getting a one-way ticket out. The elk that wander Banff streets. Natalie Clancy explains. Banff has become an example of what not to do with a national park. The town has thrown nature off balance. The elk population here has exploded because the town has become a haven for them. There's lots to eat and no predators in sight. But the mix of so many people with wild animals has become a dangerous combination. Suddenly it came charging out at me, so I turned around and ran as fast as I could down the hill. Judy Lauritan is still recovering from her injuries after she surprised an elk on her morning jog. And she's not alone. Parks Canada says the number of elk attacks is higher than ever. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Because you are totally helpless. These are wild animals and this is what people visiting who are not aware of it don't realize these are wild animals. This kind of damage is extensive. Park managers say the elk aren't only dangerous to people, they're also threatening the park's ecosystem, eating everything in their path. We need to uh, re-establish the movement of predators around the town of Banff so that uh, when we can uh, adjust the numbers of elk, predators can maintain those numbers and uh, not allow them to uh, increase to uh, unnatural uh, concentrations. There's an estimated 500 elk living in the town of Banff. The proposal being debated now would see 400 of them relocated deeper in the park over the next five years. While tourists love the town's elk, those who live here are tired of having to fence in every tree, every flower to protect them from the hungry herd. They like to eat marigolds, they like delphiniums, they like anything that's green. This is the first year we've had flowers because we finally got a fence up and it works. Others say while the elk may be a nuisance, they were here first. If this natural system where we find ourselves is screwed up, the elk didn't do it, we did it. And, and I think we need to be very careful that we don't ask the elk to pay the entire price for fixing it. Parks Canada plans to start removing some of the elk this fall. Town meetings will be held to decide just how many and how quickly the rest should be moved. Natalie Clancy, CBC News, Banff.